Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming back to my channel, Edit With Me. This is Kelly, your editor for the day. And today, we are going to be working our magic on this gorgeous maternity session. We are going to take it from raw to ready. I just love this edit, and I can't wait to spend time with you today. All right, let's roll the intro. <music> Welcome back, everybody. So we are going to be working on this gorgeous maternity image here. And oh, when I tell you this session was legit dreams, <laughs> it, it, it so was. Um, I rented a gown for the mama. The mama is one of my very close friends. I've known her for a few years now. I've photographed them so many times, starting off with their engagement. Um, and so when I found out they were expecting and called me, I was just so honored. Point of fact, she's actually going to be induced this weekend, so I'm quite excited for them. Um, can't wait to meet the new baby Wilson. So we are going to be editing today, um, and we're going to be using uh, a preset from the Nomadic Collection by Wandering Tribe. I am going to be chatting today on kindness. That's our big, big topic today, and it, it's a pretty heavy one. <laughs> it sounds kind of counterintuitive, um, but we are going to be talking about kindness today. So I want you to grab a cup of coffee, get a notebook, whatever you need, and we are going to start processing this image. Before I dive into our topic, I want to just kind of um, gently explain what I'm going to be doing here so that you get a general idea of where we're going, um, and then I will start chatting as I work. So... You know me, I am a huge believer in having the knowledge and confidence to edit yourself from scratch. However, there are times, and especially in my field, that certain presets work absolute magic for me. Now, I could hand edit it, but what it does for me saves me so much time. So we are actually going to be editing in... Um, the Wandering Tribe, but I'm going to be using my number 12 with Kelly Touch, which I've showed you that already, right? That is where I have taken a preset and I have just applied my own spin to it. So I've changed sharpening, I've changed noise reduction, I've changed the texture, basically just kind of perform surgery on that preset to get it to fit what I want it to look like, okay? So we're going to start with that today and then everything else that we do is going to be hand edited. So I've applied my preset here. I'm going to start at the bottom as I always do and do my massive corrections first and then I'm going to work up to lighting and color. So I'm going to let you guys um, kind of just watch as I'm, as I'm moving along here. But I want to dive into your heart today and I want to talk about the subject of kindness. So I want you to put a picture of what kindness looks like in your mind. Think about it. Who represents kindness to you? Maybe it's a kid or a loved one or a friend. If you're lucky enough, you might have a hard time deciding between some of those people. But I'm very curious who represents kindness for you. In my business, um, one of the things that is hugely important to me is that I am always representing kindness for my clients, that I am um, looking at things through a different lens, through the lens of kindness and respect when I'm dealing with them. Um, and I think it's, I think it's so difficult in this world that we live in. It's so, so difficult to, um, keep that, keep that attitude of kindness, especially because it doesn't seem like we're living in a very kind world lately, does it? People seem really short patienced and, angry with each other all the time. We have such short attention spans as well from all this social media. And oftentimes it really feels like the world is just a mean and an awful place, right? We just feel lonely and isolated and like nobody is kind, especially with what our country is going through right now, where you don't even see people's smiles in most of the places that you go to because of all the mask mandates and things. So I know there's a lot of people who are really, really struggling, um, with their worldview right now because they're missing that 
smile from a stranger. They're missing that kindness interaction. Um, so I'm going to pause right here for a second and explain what I was doing. So I added a, um, a linear gradient for the sky. And if you know, I've, if you've been around at all, you know that I don't do sky um, overlays. I use what was there. I will underexpose often so that I keep those gorgeous details, clouds in my sky. And then I will perform surgery on them when I get home and edit. Um, so I'm just bringing back the blue that I remember exactly how it looked at the session. I always will try to replicate the sky exactly how it was. And the reason being is nature and God are such amazing creators that I don't need to recreate the wheel. If I'm given a gorgeous sunset, that's what I want to use. So um, I have a different kind of perspective on that, I suppose. So I'm trying to bring it back to exactly the same color that I remember it being during this session. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing there. And then I just went here and I clicked my eraser tool and I brushed it off of my subjects. That's an easy way to um, bring out your skies and not sacrifice darkening any of your subjects here. Okay, so um, I'm going to add one more special little linear gradient down here because I really want to make this green pop. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that in. I'm going to add a tiny hue of green. Um, a little bit more and actually I want to pull it down a little cooler because I don't want warm grass for this I love the tone of the blue so I'm gonna to try to get the tone of the green to match as well um, so that's what I'm gonna do there this image was shot on my 24 millimeter and I literally I wish I had a behind the scenes I could kind of flash up here for you I was literally um, prone on the ground and you can even see like kind of where the grass is coming up here um, I wanted to get this bokeh effect of the little tumbleweed, uh, not tumbleweeds, all the little wild flowers right here, um, blurring in my camera. So that's what I did there. So you'll see in where we're going to go here, I did add a little tiny bit of work, but seriously raw out of the camera is where a lot of the magic was. So if you can do that for yourself, my friends, it's going to save you so much extra work. If you can take a minute at your session, and I shot probably 1,200 images at this session, um, but if you can take a minute at your session and you can think about how to do something in a creative way, or think about if you have your clients in a pose that you just love, think about changing up your perspective up just a little gentle bit. And that can take your image from, eh, it's a great image to like, oh my gosh, I love this image. And that's what this is for me. This is one of the ones that I am the most proud of, probably in the last year. Um, I just, I love their expressions and the moment and I love the lighting and, and just everything, you know, we always have those times where we're just really proud of ourselves, right? So, and that's this one for me. So, all right, I'm going to add a little bit of warmth in here um, and really bring it in on my couple. And I want to bring it off to the center because that's where the sun is coming from. So I want to add that warmth in there if I can. All right, I'm going to do a quick little scan and then we'll get back to my kindness discussion. Um, you know what? And this was a, this was a, let's see if we can operate on that in Photoshop because this was actually a weed right here, um, a wildflower, but it was much taller than the rest. And you can kind of see here's some blades of grass too that had that same effect, but it kind of looks like a dark smudge and, and not a flower. So I want to maybe take that out in Photoshop. This looks excellent for what I want to do here. Um, I might just push up the blacks a tiny bit and I'm going to open this in Photoshop, everybody. So while we're waiting on that to take, I'd like to talk about kindness. Um, huh, you can see I was working on one of my mamas today. So kindness is something that's really difficult for a lot of people. And for others, it's second nature, right? I have kind of a different perspective on it, I think, than most people. I am a very uh, extroverted, very interested person. Here's what I mean by that. Let me explain. A lot of the people that I, um, I'm friends with and run around in circles with, they think that I'm very strange for the way that I approach strangers. Um, I have done this for a long time, like at the grocery store or at a fast food place or at a restaurant. I make a point to speak to the servers or to speak to the cashier um, with, with immense kindness because in my mind, you never know if that's going to be the only kindness that person sees that day. And it could be that, oh, it worked perfectly. 
Awesome. It could be the difference for that person between a great day and a terrible day. Um, and to me, it's worth the extra two minutes of conversation. It's worth the, me putting myself out there to ask them questions. Um, it's worth that to me. So I'm going to keep going on that. But while I'm doing that, I'll just explain. I'm going to clone some of these yellow flowers in a little bit because I just I love how pretty they were. And I'm just going to add a little bit more detail in a believable way um, to the side of my image. So to me, putting myself out there and asking those those intimate questions and not necessarily like, I mean, I don't ask people to tell me their life stories when I'm checking out at Publix, but I will ask them like, how's your day going? And when they answer me, I don't just go, okay, good. You know, I say, oh, I'm so glad to hear that. And you'd be amazed how many people are like, well, aren't you sweet? Or, you know, just make a little comment about that because they don't, they don't get those interactions from people. They either get stories from older people that they're kind of just <laughs> rolling their eyes and not wanting to listen to, or you, know, you just never know. Um, but to me, it's so important because that might be that person's only interaction in that day where they felt seen and noticed and valued. Um, and that's huge for me. So I always take the extra few minutes, few seconds to, to discuss things, um, with the people around me. I find that it's just, it's, it's so important that little kindness touch. All right. I am unhappy with the, where that's sitting. I'm going to pull it over here. There we go. And I want to make it smaller. I want to make it a little bit more intense. There we go. Um, that to me is worth the inconvenience of not getting my groceries and, you know, 40 seconds versus two minutes. So I want to challenge you um, in your dealings with your clients this week or tomorrow or whenever it is. I want you to think if I am the only person that this person <laughs> interacts with today, how would I want their day to go? And I know that that's crazy because we really should be thinking about us and how we want our days to go. But I always find myself could, you know, thinking about that. If I only had interacted with one person and that person was clipped or efficient or short with me, I wouldn't have a very good picture of humanity that day, right? But if I interacted with somebody who really saw me, took the time to notice me, ask me how my day was, show me like one tiny ounce of kindness, then all of a sudden I, I carry that kindness and it has a bit of a trickle down effect, right? I'm probably going to show kindness to the next person that I see. And it's going to just keep going down from there. We can impact the world, my friends. It just takes one little thing. Okay, so I just applied my universal prep here. I'm going to do a little bit more sharpening up on my couple. Um, and then honestly, I feel like this one is a wrap. This is going to be a short video today, eh? Oh, shoot. I do not want to do that at 100%. That is too intense for 100%. Let's pull that bad boy down to 60 some of these actions, um, specifically the smart sharpen one, some of these actions are super strong and effective, which I love. But if I forget to switch it to down from 100%, I pay, pay for it later. So, all right, I'm going to add that in just a little bit towards um, around my couple because I, I want it to look like that's where my sharpness naturally fell with my lens. And it's not just, oh, your couple's super sharp and everything else is blurry and bokeh. So, all right, everybody, I think that is done and dusted. I didn't have to do any sort of liquefying or anything like that. I mean, this couple is so adorable on their own um, that I didn't need to touch up anything. So I am going to wait for my computer to respond, flatten this image, and I'm going to save it and export it back into Lightroom. So do me a favor. I want you to make a list. I know, I know, I'm a big list maker, but I want you to make me a list of five tiny things of kindness you could do for somebody. And I don't want it to be like, oh, I could buy candy for my neighbor or something like that. Like, it doesn't need to be an, a money kind of thing for you. Um, but I want you to make a list of five kindness things that you can um, do for someone else, be it ask someone about their day or, um, you know, listen to somebody when they're having a little bit Sorry, I was looking for our image. It went it went to the end. Um, asking about their day or, you know, 
helping them shush their child if they're crying in line or, you know, something simple like that. But I want to start a movement. I want to start a kindness movement where we um, really work hard to to show kindness to each other. Okay, so I am going to show you my end and where we started from. So there's the beginning before and there's the after. Went from super eh to super dreamy. As always, I want to thank you for joining me tonight or today whenever you're watching that. Uh, it's re relatively late here, but I want to challenge you to spread kindness around in just simple, easy ways, but help make the world a better place by showing people your giving spirit and your kind nature, be it in your business, your family, your relationships, your spouse, your significant other, your friends, wherever your influence lands, help to make it a better one. Go outside of yourself for just a small bit to help increase everyone else's day. As always, don't forget, you are loved, you are worthy, you are valuable, and the world needs your lens. Take care of yourselves, my friends. Have a great one. See you next video.